Sasha was incredibly generous. Um, She's been incredibly generous through the whole process, really. Uh, we just started talking on the phone a little bit. I just, um, or no, we started with email, and then we graduated to the phone, and then we graduated to, I took a trip, I was in New York and took the train to Boston one weekend and spent the afternoon with her and Hansi, her husband. Uh, they took me around Boston showing me the sights and, um, and, and then I just sort of asked her as many things as I could possibly think of. I feel a tremendous responsibility to be as accurate as possible and tell Sasha's story um, um, exactly as, as, it, as it went. It was nerve-wracking to have her watching just because I want to get it right. You know, I want to do, I, she's such an extraordinary person and she did such an extraordinary thing and I just want to be able to express that as clearly and as accurately as possible on screen. She was never made to feel that she was the youngest or that she was the woman on the team. She felt like she was just, you know, um, an equal member and, you know, equal in stature and um, that she had just as much a right to be there as anyone else. So, uh, you know, she spoke about that a lot and I, I have felt the same way on this film too, you know, it feels like it's really as a team and we're all in it together. It's been interesting to watch the balance between playing a character because, the, you know, R Robbie, Mike, Sasha, they're all real characters. They're really vibrant people with big personalities. Um, so finding the balance between playing that character and then just getting the information out and keeping things very natural and realistic has been, a, a, you know, a, a real journey. And, the, and, and it's just been great to watch them find the balance. Tom's kind of a triple threat as a director because yes, he's an actor, a great actor. And so, you know, there's a shorthand there, which is great. You know, he, it, he doesn't have to say much and you know exactly what he wants. Um, and he's always got his eye on the acting. It doesn't ever slip away, which is great, which I so appreciate and then I can kind of let go a little bit because I know that's being taken care of. Tim and Josh are great collaborators on this um, as a writing team and so adjustments can be made at any moment if something isn't working and they're always great and better than what was there before which was already good. She really maintained relationships with a lot of the victims after and still does to this day uh, which I just I think you know, I think just the way she dealt with the whole thing was really, really honorable and admirable. Um, and she was kind of the one that everyone would talk to. You know, you're, you're talking about a lot of grown men now, blue collar men who, who maybe aren't comfortable sharing their feelings with anyone, let alone, you know, um, a reporter. So, you know, I think that's where being a woman maybe did come in handy. But she's also just an extraordinary listener and very compassionate. And you just get a, a warmth off of her and, a, and, um, and, and that she just cares deeply. Um, so I think, you know, it was her being on the team that allowed a lot of these stories to come forward. It's about endless curiosity and um, just being so tenacious that, you know, you think you've wrapped your mind around something and then you kind of have to go back over it and over it and over it and you, to find the key, you know, that, and, and it's been like that working on this film, you know, we just keep digging and keep discovering and keep picking away at it um, because you know, it, it can be the littlest thing that can lead to the whole story blowing up. And, you know, that's the case with this. A journalist has to be both an insider and an outsider. I think they have to be able to stand outside and be very objective. And at the same time, they have to, you know, what I've noticed about these reporters is that they make you feel so comfortable. They make you feel so at ease. And any time I've thought I was interviewing them and I've gone in with that intention, it all has always flipped. And I, I, by the end of the conversation, I'm like, wait a second, I just told you so much about me and I still know so little about you. So I think they have that way of getting on the inside and watching from the outside at the same time.
they were so brave in that this is not something anyone wanted to hear about. And that had been made clear, um, you know, throughout history leading up to this point that um, a lot of people were uncomfortable with this subject, that it was, you know, very unpopular to speak about, and um, that you were potentially destroying faith.